Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again with me. Love of my life. <laughs> Honey bunches of oats. Yeah. Sugar um, plum fairy. Um, a fairy? That might work. Excuse me, sir? Oh no. I thought that was a sugar plum fairy. Um, I don't even know exactly what that is. I just know from the holidays people sing about it. Yeah, but no. we are here to talk about a narcissistic abuser. <laughs> the narcissistic the abuser of YouTube. The narcissistic abuser of YouTube. And before I go any further, I do want to say this is not me calling out of her name because I'm sitting here wanting to be an asshole. I'm just going to use every single word that she has used against people over the past few days. Mm -hmm. I love how she tries to call herself a feminist. Actually, guess down in the comment section if you know who we're talking about. Yeah. I love how she tries to call herself a feminist, but every female that she comes in contact with, whenever they critique her, her big thing is sitting there and saying like, oh, they're critiquing me, but I don't like their critique, so they are a narcissistic abuser. Yeah. So I love how this person calls themselves a feminist, mm -hmm. empowering women, but literally calling Trisha like a lying effing bitch all this kind of stuff and it's like are you okay yeah what's going on this this narcissistic abuser mm -hmm. the attention seeking the amount of just craziness that this person does for attention it's really crazy because I was really buying into this whole thing with her like rebrand and her uh, starting this new channel and all of that just to find out that like this is some kind of like ploy because she tweeted out the other day a picture of like her old cell phones and hard drives. Like Girl. anybody that keeps that much stuff on people, that is, that is just so weird. First of all, I don't understand people who keep text messages like that because if you go back on my cell phone, like on my iPhone and look at messages, they automatically delete after a certain amount of time mm -hmm. because you know what? I'm not crazy and I'm not the person that's going to be like, oh, well you said this she two has, years ago. She clearly has that thing turned on where it syncs everything to the iCloud. Oh, she definitely has keep audio messages. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> keep voice memos. A thousand the percent. Same voice memo thing. So she is apparently using all this drama. I find it very sad that somebody has to cause, like we know like Jeffree Star and even James Charles back in the day, they'd cause a little bit of drama before like tried to sell like some new makeup or something. Mm -hmm. But this narcissistic abuser is literally <laughs> just blowing up on everyone on social media. Anyone, even her fans, mm -hmm. even the stands that have the accounts that are dedicated to this narcissistic abuser. She's blowing up at them and any critique that they have, like, hey, you know, you're going too far. You're bullying me. Oh, you yeah, are yeah. a bully because you're doing oh, this. My favorite thing is uh, like Oscar Wilde, right? He okay. liked one of your tweets. Oh, that's the best one. So and Oscar. She literally went on two shit. days worth of like Instagram story rants, like not calling even, him everything you could imagine. Not even just calling him things. And this isn't even just like going on TikTok. This narcissistic abuser got into her Corolla and was driving down some road out there in California. Under the influence. Under smoking, like, you know. Just marijuana and all that driving with her phone in her hand, totally not being safe. Hopefully there was a seatbelt, mm -hmm. but it's like, how are you going to put other people's lives in danger? Because now, in my opinion, narcissistic abuser, you are a danger to society. And girl, we know that Corolla you're driving is not autonomous. That's not a Tesla. And even if it was, you still shouldn't be smoking in the so, car behind the wheel. So Oscar Wilde. Like, liked one of my tweets about this person. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what my tweet exactly was. And then she, like, responds back to it. And she's like, oh, it took it took a verified person for me to see your tweet, Nick. So why don't you run, run along and make a video? And I was like, I actually am not going to make a video about this. Like, this was, like, what, four or five days ago? I was mm -hmm. like, I'm not going to make a video about this because you clearly have something going on in your life once again. She's lacking where something you, essential. <laughs> where you are trying to drum up all this drama. And at some points, it does get scary. But then she came out with the fact that she is going to put out this little like series and if people believe her they believe her if they don't well then they're narcissistic abusers but why did she and they're do bullies. this before like she literally did all she's washed rinsed and repeated everything that she's done before but this time it's like way worse here's my here's my opinion this sociopath <laughs> literally she has the right she is correct when she says that she has the right to respond to mm -hmm. everyone that says something about her yeah, i 100 percent agree with that but you can't look at what everyone is saying about you and just because you don't like it because someone said that your music oh, you know what it's not that bad but it's not my taste that doesn't make them a bully and that does not make them an abuser of any kind mm -hmm. what she's doing is she's using the degree that she got over there what's she going for psychology mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. She went for something like that. And she's using that because she knows these big words and she tries to throw them out there. But really, at the end of the day, the only crazy one in this situation is the narcissistic abuser. Mm-hmm. Because she is literally going off on everyone and trashing them just because they don't like her work. Mm-hmm. And this makes me feel like this person did not get any validation growing up in their life mm-hmm. that now that they have it online, the moment that someone tries to take that away from them by just saying, hey, I don't like this. It's you're horrible. You're trying to ruin me. My career is over and all this. It is psychotic. And I don't know where the boyfriend is in this because wanna, the boyfriend always speaks up and I don't know where he went. Okay. Here's something for you. Okay. I can't think of anybody that doesn't like say Rihanna's music. Right. But do you think if somebody told Rihanna that they didn't like her music and her music sucked, that she would be out here acting this way? She, she would like, be like, <laughs> what's that guy's name? Chris. That was like, Oh, you don't like me. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that, that's crazy. You, like, your How? art should speak for itself and it's like she gets so offended that people don't like her art and to Girl. be honest one of the best videos i've ever watched on this whole thing was ready to glare made a video about um back in the day who oh the narcissistic music yes, that one you have to bleep it out i will <laughs> but it's like it's crazy why would you get so upset over somebody not liking you like no you're never going to pl- please every single person that comes across your content your artwork or all of that apparently she's not pleasing anyone i have never met anybody in this world that when everyone that has ever come in contact with them people that have even been friends with this person Mm -hmm. have come out at a later date and been like this person's psychotic they are not nice we were on set with them they were screaming at everyone so how does everyone you come in contact have the exact same kind of experience with you but they're the problem Mm -hmm. maybe if it was like one or two people then i would be like okay you know what people just have a bad day maybe they just didn't click or whatever but when it's every single person it's you let's go down the list because think about it right this person's no longer friends with alex james jesse smiles got like kicked out of the vlog squad trisha much jesse smiles all these different people like how many people does it take to say oh my god like this person you don't really want to deal with them no and you know i don't normally like that because that's like a generalization of a person but like this narcissistic abuser like, everyone says the exact same thing about this person do that you know some point where there's smoke there's fire and you know i think that i on it like i think i talked about this on our podcast i don't think it was in a video but when all of this stuff came out about david dobrik I, I never watched the vlog squad but when they made it about i reached out to her and i was like you know i differences aside like i'm sorry i don't feel like you should have had people like basically make fun of you to your face and say these awful things about you Never replied. Because she doesn't care, girl. But she was like, oh, yeah, I love forgiveness and forgiveness is good. And I'll try to like mend fences with everybody. Like I wasn't trying to mend fences with this person. I was just letting her know that I felt for her in that moment. Here's my thing. She's all about doing things publicly because I saw someone sent her a DM and was like, hey, you know what? Yeah, I liked that tweet. I'm sorry. All this kind of stuff. And instead of it being like, you know what? Thank you for apologizing. Okay, whatever. whatever. It was thank you for apologizing. Why don't you say that publicly? So that people will be like, oh, he's right in the situation. Mm-hmm. Now I said her freaking name. Yeah. She's a leech. Yeah. That's my opinion on this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. She like and Trisha, you know, Trisha, Trisha has been in a lot of drama. Yeah. She's had her own scandals. She's done her own bucket full of crap. Right. Mm-hmm. But Trisha is making so much sense because she's like, I don't even want to have to really acknowledge this, but she keeps talking about me. And, you know, Trisha went on to release those voice memos that Mm. he keeps talking about, like, oh, if you don't have them, I have them. I'm going to share them. Like, we've heard the voice memos, like, even before they got released. It doesn't look good for the narcissistic (laughs) abuser. Here's my thing when it comes to the narcissistic abuser. She has sat on all of this proof for how long, this air quotes proof, mind you, for how long getting her name dragged through the mud. You don't think if there was some hard concrete stuff as crazy as this person is, they wouldn't have dropped it somewhere already. Mm -hmm. They would wait until 2021 when their channel is literally going down. They have to switch it back to their original name to try to get back into the algorithm to come forward and talk about all these people, these abusers of her. Like, no. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people caught that either. Nick and I were riding in the car the other day and we were talking about this and I was like, you don't think it's strange that she's changed her name? from her name back to what it is now and i'm like that's clearly this person trying to get back in the algorithm and i get and i empathize and i understand that the views and the attention and the media and the clicks are not there like they used Mm -hmm. to be for this person 
But like, this is not the way to go about this. And I compared her a long time ago to Glitter Forever 17. But you see what Glitter Forever 17 is doing yep. now. Like she was down and out for a while, but she, she found she found her voice in her platform, girl. She is back. Breland is doing her thing. The narcissistic abuser could do that herself. And I'm listen, like I'm not saying her voice is terrible. I'm not saying that it's the greatest by any means, but she has some good songs. She she really does. She does have we some good songs. Like, but She's putting out this like unrealistic expectation that everybody has to enjoy and like her content. That's you just know not what's crazy realistic. to me is she's literally saying they're going off on this other girl. I can't even think of what the person's name is. Somebody who critiqued her poetry book. Rachel Crit- Oates. Rachel Oates critiqued her poetry book. Now I don't know all the drama that gone sent on there. Her the book. I see how they kind of like go back and forth, but spent days tearing down this Rachel person because she didn't like the critique of her poetry book. Mm-hmm. And we said her name again. I don't though. care at this point, <laughs> honestly. It's just a mess. It's uh, I, I don't even know when when this will end, where it even began. Well, my opinion on this is <laughs> this narcissistic abuser is sitting here trying to go after Trisha because, this, in my opinion, rubs me the same way that Nikita tried to go at Trisha mm-hmm. because they're hoping Attention. that there is going to be a mention and a long discussion over on Frenemies because Frenemies right now is one of the more popular podcasts and people know that you go on there, people will be talking about you. Mm-hmm. This narcissistic abuser clearly has a series coming out where she's just going to trash everyone, where she's <laughs> saying that she's leaving YouTube, all this kind of stuff. She's not leaving YouTube. Whatever. It's whatever. And you know what's even funny about this is this one pops off on me on Twitter. Like, oh, ready to make a video, ready to make a video. It's like my last video was actually in defense of you. Right. Because you croaked out a song that mm-hmm. you thought was the first song out there about self-sabotage mm-hmm. and the first music video out there that had fire in it. Yeah. Simmer down. <laughs> you need to simmer down. No, they, and then you have people defending her just because they don't like us trying to like pull... <sighs> Oh, I don't even. Oh, I don't even know. The new one, you guys, for everyone out there, was that like we? What did they say about us? It's not the right type of white. Oh yes. So it. it <laughs> I can't. It's I, so stupid I, sounding. I don't know. So apparently, the reason that myself and Dustin and a few other people go after is because she is not the right type of white. It couldn't be that she's been horrible to her mm. audience. It couldn't be that she literally sold people crap and then. When they got scammed out of their money with Kenza Cosmetics, that she was a piece of crap. Manage like, your expectations. It couldn't be any of that. It couldn't be the way that she treats people and all this different stuff with Jesse and uh, like. Uh, well, the people that are saying this literally try to say that is not the right kind of white for us, but the right kind is Shane Dawson. Oh. Even though all of us have all said some very. We like dragged thing, yes. Shane. Especially after <laughs> everything that's happened. We Shane. So that's people look for tits on an ant, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But I hope this narcissistic abuser, uh, I don't know, takes a nap. I wish her well. I hope she's okay. Because, if, like, I'm actually a little bit concerned. If this, like, there, if this is fake, she's a very good actress. And if it's real, I'm very terrified and scared for her. I think it's a little bit of both. I don't know. I think it's a little bit of both. So let us know all of your thoughts and opinions down below, everyone. And with that said, that is it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Please follow all of my social media down below. Bye. Bye.